Hey YouTube! Today I'm gonna show you how to update your Galaxy Mini to uh, the Beta 7 uh, of ICS firmware. First off I installed a FTP server to copy the zip over to the device. Now I need to restart into recovery mode. There's an easy button to do it automatically on mine. If not on yours, then you know, find out how it's done. You hold the home and the volume minus button plus the on button and it will go. As you might have seen, the phone buzzes for a minute and it automatically goes to the custom. If I'm okay, yes. Now, you navigate through this using the volume buttons. And first off, we're going to make a backup. So I'm going to choose backup. It's going to take a little while. The cool thing about having an Android backup is you can always go back to the state it was before you flashed a new fair firmware, which might not work the way you want it to. So you will always have an option to go back and uh, you will have all your uh, SMSs and uh, everything in it. As you can see, it will show step by step what is backing up and what it has backed up already. is backed up. I saw a couple of videos on YouTube uh, showing this and uh, they were really 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 crappy videos so I made this one. Also videos like these are constantly stolen so I would like to add that this was originally posted on the channel Swell Remarkable on YouTube and also featured on a Dutch website ozo.nl o h w z o.nl Don't let anybody tell you different So here we are in the menu again. Uh, we have a backup, so we can now install zip from SD. We are going to choose zip from SD card. Because there are a couple ones on here. A couple of them. But, but, oh, damn it. Should have done that. 
So the one we want is CM does OTA and uh, it's been uh, here since the 8th of March 2012. It's untested, so no feedback has been gotten yet. But I'm uh, kind of weird and I don't mind if anything goes wrong. I will just reflash. I just want to know if it works. The last ICS I tried is a project that's been on hold for a long time. And I just got fed up waiting. Uh, plus it rebooted the phone many times. Uh, and it was Android 401 and this is 403. The change log uh, tells us there's a new Adreno 200 library for ICS. It's a fast and smooth system. Live wallpapers are working. Gallery and cal calculator are fully working all the time. Gmail is working. The browser is working really good, smooth and fast. All apps with graphic problems like power amp are now working correctly. And also the AOSP CM9 sources are updated. There's a new hardware composer and Grelock and uh, they updated MacLaws audio libraries. Sounds really good. A couple of other features of this firmware are that um, Deep Sleep is working, which it wasn't before. Uh, the Wi-Fi indicator wasn't working, it's fixed. Uh, Bluetooth is fixed. There's even heads headset support for it. Um, BLN support for all devices. Uh, there's an updated kernel, uh, the MacLaw one. Uh, they reduced flicker, but it still exists every now and then. It's really, really smooth. Uh, it's overclockable. Um, They added a working Galaxy ICS app. You can update your uh, firmware directly from your device after installing this, installing this. So when the beta 8 comes out or maybe even the final version of the firmware somewhere in the future, you will, able, you will be able to update it without anything. Okay. It's done. I'm using the power button to go back in the menu and the big button is the enter button. What I should do now is wipe data and wipe cache partition. <clears throat> I don't really want to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just want to see if it will work without doing it, but I think it's smarter to do it anyway. Everything's being formatted. Not the micro SD card, but everything else. The internal storage of these phones is divided into multiple partitions. And it's looking at them right now and deleting everything. So this option is data wipe and that means you will you are uh, kind of restoring your phone to factory settings. After I did the reset, I will wipe the cache partition also. Just so there will be less problems. And I'm going to reboot system now. And it should start up. YouTube limits my videos to 15 minutes. We're almost at 10, so I'm hoping you will see ICS before the time ends.
well, it's kind of fuggly. Uh -huh. This is always nice to see skateboarding androids. not to encounter the boot loop but uh, some galaxy devices have that due to a kernel problem shouldn't be a problem right now uh, the first boot after flashing any Android device will always take uh, longer than the ones after that because Android is finishing up on installations putting everything in the right place and uh, adapting permissions and so on. If you haven't got the custom recovery, uh, by the way, you can install uh, ROM Manager from the App Store. Uh, the Google Play Store, I should say, it's not market anymore. And uh, that has an option to install it and reboot to it. So that's uh, an app that's needed. You can also do it with Odin, but ROM Manager uh, rules. It seems to be locked up right now, but you never know. We'll wait. Huh. Are we gonna do the setup wizard? Well, okay. Wait. It's already in Dutch. Start. I want it in Dutch. I'm Dutch. Whatever. This can all be adapted later. I'm not going to set up Google right now. Uh, I love Google, but I don't want them to get anonymous stats from me. This phone is mine. So and it's done. Act as if you're at home. Well, I am. Just go to all the apps. Yeah, I know. Zip all the way down. About about the telephone. It's even 404. I thought it would be 403, but this is wonderful. A lot of memory, etc. Uh, another fun thing, <laughs> maybe, is uh, Android Easter eggs. Is uh, when you push a couple of times on the Android version, it will show. The Easter egg! Woohoo! Not a lot of people know this, but it's funny. Useless, but funny. Well, what else do we have? Oh, almost 15 minutes. Google Play Store is installed and should be working. So far, I'm going to leave you. See ya.